Hi, right, so here is another zealot. Same zealot S67. You see the name here. S67. So it stopped working, right? And what happened? The owner plugged into the USB. You know, I've made a video regarding that. That I should stop plugging USB device in the port, otherwise it's going to damage it. So that's what happened to this. When I plug into the USB, this ship right here, it won't escape. This fiber ship here, it won't escape. So this ship was damaged and I replaced it. I found a replacement for it. Then everything was working. You know, it's my usual practice after a long time, after fixing a device, I will not give it out to the customer. I have to check that everything is perfect after a prolonged use so that I will return to the, to the client and the client will say, this is stop working in the next two days. No, I don't do that. I will have to use it extensively, stress it, so that if there will be a problem, I'll be able to notice the problem before fan, before I even get to the customer or to the client. All right. So as it was working, just all of a sudden, the voice was was extremely loud. Let me say the increase, uh, the volume increased more than 50 times. Yeah. Let me say if the volume was at, uh, let's say 50 percent. Yeah. At 50. Then multiply 50 by 50 well it's it's it was so much loud and that is number one the volume was extremely loud and number two the sound is distorted so i've not experienced this kind of a problem before i've not so it was distorted and the volume was loud was so loud so i increased the volume i reduced the volume rather to to one percent it was so much loud so that I couldn't stand it for five seconds. It was so much loud. So I there's something is wrong. So, you know, I opened the speaker. Then after I was open it, I noticed that this thing is working again. All right. You know, I let it be for that, you know, in that state for some time. I tried to play song, try to use it, then they returned back. So obviously there is problem. The pro there is still problem on the motherboard. Why this has been fixed? Yeah, now I have the appropriate voltage that is five volt supplied, but yet there seems to be a ship that will work, and all of a sudden it will stop working. It will start misbehaving. So clearly there's a problem. So I try to check. You know here are the okay. If you look at these resistors right here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? This first four here is meant for the speakers, while this is for the subwoofer. Okay, and here is, here is the subwoofer, here is both right and left speakers. So we have two speakers and this subwoofer, the, sub, the, the uh, subwoofer or the bars, yeah, it's meant for that bit. Yes, this, this is what is giving the bit, right? So I try to share, I try to, uh, the connection point here, right? At the connection point here, these are the speakers. This is for the bars. It will be written. Good. You see the bars? And here is speaker one, speaker two, right? So I I disconnected one of the speaker. I noticed that it's when it was working, yeah, when it was working fine now. Yeah, I tried to disable the speaker. And I noticed that one of the speaker one of the speaker is working. The other speaker does not work. It's giving one kind of uh, funny sound. So apparently there's a problem. So when the speaker is working, there's only one side that will work. No other bars work fine. And when it's starting misbehaving, all the sound will be distorted. So apparently there's a problem. And when I shake, okay, let me come down here. So I notice here, because in my previous, in the um, in previous stuff I fixed, I know for sure that this converter here is also related to here. The voltage comes from here to this place. So I noticed that this place was also hot as well. If wrong voltage enters here, if this if this five volts does not work again, it's going to send the wrong voltage down to here. Instead of dropping from seven to five or four point nine, approximately five volts. So high voltage will come to here, which will cause this place to eat up. So in summary, I noticed that this ship right here, yeah, this ship right for so that is MS four three four four there about got to get it up. We shouldn't get it up. This can eat up, right? Because the connector, this speaker here, this 
uh, first right here goes to this speaker and this to the second speaker why this here um this the amplifier shape come down to the subwoofer right mm -hmm. so this can get hot because this place this region gets hot but this shouldn't get hot at all but they get hot so that gave me a hint that this is 40 and what is this basically this is a dual channel digital to analog converter mm -hmm. yeah digital to analog converter so that is that is a function of this chip right so it receives digital signal and converts it to an analog okay and it is a dual channel so that means this right here is responsible so i found a replacement i replace it and boom everything's working fine now i have sound coming from both speakers and it does not get out and everything is perfect so that's how i fix this this is my first time of experiencing this kind of crazy problem but i'm happy I was able to fix it on time so i'm going to play stuff right here let me see this is a 15 minute external all right structure. so this is a tutorial this going a on minute all right so, so um yes this so now yeah now in order for this 15 minute to break structures such um like this, I don't want to play some because of copyright strike. Yeah, I've received couple copyright strike, and I don't want that anymore. Uh, yeah, multiple levels of infrastructure. Yeah, let me reduce it. Now, the important thing to identify uh, here is when you see a break. Structure all right. Here, so, uh, and as it is, structure. okay. Let me just demonstrate yeah, why stop. why the speaker is working. This is the bus. See um, the bus is the off. Do you notice sound yeah. difference in sound? Yeah. The swing intention so has again, not changed, yeah. Back. Internal order flow has shifted. Yeah. Right, yeah. Which makes sense because after we break structure, after we break okay. swing structure, what we expecting? We expect the pullback. Yeah. So if you then so see double remote. break structure, why is talking? No, it's not like a sound. There's no beat and the swing, uh, something uh, like that. So here is like one. You see, yeah. the so volume has gone down a little. Then. Both speakers removed, no sound. So everything is working fine now. Uh, yeah, well, let's, let's say high tech premium. At least for price. Well, that's our expectation. Yeah, Order that is for those two parts. I'm back here to this. Ping. And Good. The and the second. This is of price here. Perfect. And here is the bars. Yeah, the woofer right here. Up, uh, there's a woofer and here's bass to hear. Yeah. Hear the sound. <laughs> yeah, little by little. Let me see if I can increase this a bit. Yeah, let me increase it from here. So here's volume. Uh, volume plus. Yeah. So here's the bass. See the way it's sounding. Yeah. I see it's giving a kind of a muffled sound. Yeah. Yeah. So this will be very loud now because this is a speaker. A straight little push. Okay. All right. So that is all. That's how I fix this. I don't need to show you how I cover it. I couple it. I believe you know that. So that's how I fix this Zilot S67 speaker. Yeah.